OK, well, look, it'd be fascinating talking to this man. Hey, Dan, man. Many, many congratulations. Thank you. Yes, again, five in a row, Lewis. Can you hear that crowd? Quite popular around here. Amazing. Yeah. These you know, guys. You... I mean, how important is that, Lewis, to you? That, you know, you, you said earlier that you're getting a lot of inspiration from seeing British supporters out there. Yeah. Explain that. Uh, I think it just really goes back to, you know, growing up in, in Stevenage, I, I really never, ever thought that I'd have people following me or, or supporting me or arriving in a different, or people flying from the UK to, uh, or Ireland all the way to here or to wherever it is in the world to support me, to have my flag, to have my top, my, my cap. It's a real conscious decision and, and um, I'm just so grateful for it, you know, and I think, I think over the last couple of years really maturing a lot and also coming to realize that this is, whilst it's a great sport, this is just a platform to, for me to, to, to inspire others, you know, uh, youngsters and even people of my age and your age, you know, and people that just, that to never give up, so that no matter what you're faced with, there's always a brighter day ahead and you just got to keep on pushing and, and uh, working at it, you know, and... Yeah, absolutely, I mean, it looked like it was going to be a bad day yesterday after qualifying. Uh, you know, we thought you're down in the dumps a bit, but you've just come back with a massive uh, well, turnaround there was, today. There was no doubt in my mind, you know, came in, practice was really good, apart from obviously lost a little bit of the long run uh, running. But, yeah, qualifying, I just, I just really didn't get into the rhythm, but I knew that I had the pace if I had had it. But, you know, Nico's lap was fantastic, you know, really good lap. Um, would have been very close if I didn't have my locking uh, issues. And then in the, going into the race, I just, there wasn't a, a second or a moment that I didn't feel that I could, I could win this. You know, there's a, the opportunity is going to be there somewhere, so I've just got to keep working and pushing, and eventually it presented itself. What was, you, the difference? Sorry, sorry, sorry. what was the difference, though, yeah, between, between yesterday and today? I mean, you were talking a little bit about brake issues and the guys got to the bottom of that, but do you also blame yourself a little bit for that? Was it... Yes, for yesterday? Yeah. Absolutely. It's not just, not just the braking. Um, where I really made a mistake was uh, in, in the braking zones. I, I was choosing a line, so as I started to brake, I was straight, but I started to turn a little bit too early, and basically that also helped catch the left front. And I realized, I look back at my previous year's race, and I always kept it straight under braking lot, for a lot longer. And I don't know why I didn't catch up on that. I, I don't know. But I also had the braking issue as well, which, which kind of magnified the issue. So today, they, they, they fixed the glazing of that brake, even though it was still kind of there a little bit. Um, but I, made, I changed my driving lines, changed my lines, and it helped save the tires as well. So it kind of it, it improved everywhere. Are you aware that the finishing line is in sight now? Do you, you know, as we've seen this season progress, you've been down and then you've come back again. You've won five in a row. You've never done that before in your career. And you've got clear air between yourself and your coach. It's going to go down to the wire in Abu Dhabi. But how, what do you do? Do you talk to yourself? Do you think, right, look, I'm there. You just can't take anything for granted, I assume. I think I, I don't talk to myself. Um, I don't know. I mean, at the moment, just really enjoying the moment. I mean, today I feel it feels great. I, I don't can't even really explain it, but just I, I wanted it that bad and I got it and it felt fantastic when I crossed, came across the line. And we've got these two races up ahead. If the racing points was, was normal, it'd be a different feeling for sure. Now I'm going to see these next races, I've got to attack. You know, I need those 25 points in the next one and I want those 50 points in the last one. Um, you know, it's, it's a strange decision they've come up with to, to, to put 50 points in the last race, yeah. but you know, it it's is the case for everyone. I mean, it's a bit of a scary one, that, isn't it? I mean, because that's pretty out, much out of your hands. Anything can happen. It really is, and, and especially if you see up until now, I've won the 10 races. I've, I've, I've done everything I can to, to win this World Championship and gone through the difficult times. And, um, but, you know, I have, I wanna, again, I just feel like a, I feel confident that things are going to go well. But, you know, you never know what's ahead. But I feel prepared for whatever there is ahead. And, I, you know, I, I, up until now, I feel very proud of what my team and I have, have achieved this year. Not one in Brazil, as good a time as any to start as well. I mean, do, do you feel the pressure? Are you feeling it? I was going to talk to, we talked to Damon about this earlier, when you were in your championship winning year, you'd got to a position like this where you'd got a gap. Um, you know, how did you tell yourself, it's okay, I can do it from here, you know, the inner voices just shut them up a little bit? Well, I, I mean, I think Lewis has uh, basically just answered it. You know, you don't, you don't let those inner voices, if you have any inner voices, get to you. And I think you have to just keep in the moment, you know, getting too far ahead. You're not in Brazil yet. You've done, just done this one. I don't know, Lewis. What, yeah, it's just one race at a time. And, you know, you can't really, you can't focus on what's happened in the past. You can only focus on what you can uh, do in the, in the future. And 
Of course, the car does come into play, but I feel great. I feel think, think these guys are going to work so hard to make sure that we don't have any problems as a team globally. And um, so for me, I, I can't put those things, any of those uh, demons can't enter. You know, I've got a good beam. And got the guard up. Border of energy around me. I feel right. good and I'm going to be pushing as hard as I can. And the support I've had from the fans has been unbelievable here and in every race I've gone to this year. So, and that really inspires me and push, gives me the energy to get up tomorrow. I'm going to be training hard because I want to win that next race. So, very energized. Brilliant. Well done, Lewis. Thank Appreciate you so much, your time, as always. Congratulations for today.